Hey everyone, welcome back to another shed hunting video. In this week's video, it's day two of the same weekend of shed hunting. It was a little bit colder, but we were able to get out and find a lot of really great sheds, even though that side of the property didn't have as much food this year just due to bad drought conditions in Iowa, as well as our weed issues, I guess we'll call it. So we ended up finding a lot of great sheds still, so stay tuned for that action. Day two is a cold one. I don't know why it seems colder today. You got beans right here that didn't do too good this year. But but like I was talking yesterday, these hillsides are what really hold a lot of the sheds. Only because that's where the deer like to be this time of year in the sun next to the food. It's not because the sheds grow legs and walk to this spot. This side might not be as good just because, like I said, there's not as much food. Well, I was just scouting, trying to figure out how do we make this area a lot more bedding friendly for deer. And uh, look to my right, picked up a shed. Little guy, he's kind of neat. Nice little antler. Just a bunch of cool season grasses down here where they used to run cows and it's too hard to access with equipment I feel like if we can get a good fire break in run some fires in here and maybe some strategic seedling plantings we'd really transform this hill might be a good project I was mainly just scouting Picked up a little antler. Just glassed up, just by my eye, a really good one on that hillside. It's a real good one. Oh! Ooh, we got a little more on our hands here. We got ourselves a match set here. I'm going up for that one. And there's one right here. A good one too. I got a good one here, a whole match set. I had seen this one. up here and I was going to this one yeah and he's got he's got splits coming off his bottom or off his brows he's got that same characteristic that a lot of these a lot of these farms have see that that bladed oh yeah it's a cool deer look at that too yeah the g3 is pretty good he just they were just right here together. This one was right here and I saw that one and then I was walking up on it and I spotted the other one. I was just thinking they should be right there, but I think we found them before out of the bottom edge of the CD. Yeah, this is where we found the uh, short G2 buck that first year, remember? He had a pretty big body. I think he was one of them that I thought looked pretty mature. But he's not very thick. Uh -uh. He's a good big body. Yeah. I was just saying. on fire today. Uh, Cause Heidi's not here. Yeah. <laughs> so 
So, I'm never going to call myself a shed hunting expert. But, what I will say is when I first used to shed hunt, I would look directly around me, in front of me on the trail. And I would just scan it. But, I've seen to find more sheds when I look further. One, it helps you not have to walk as far. But two, you'll also be able to just cover more ground. And it's, I seem to be able to pick them out better. Now, obviously the smaller sheds are harder to find. So that tip may only be useful for antlers with size. But it seems to be, if I look out further, I can see sheds better than I do if I'm just honed in directly on the ground. So, guess hot tip for you. For those who actually care, I guess, about my hot tips. I had to pick up on the GoPro. There's a bed, it's really nasty. There's a bed right there. I had originally seen this. You can't really tell, but those trees right there had rubs on it pretty low, like a buck was laying there bedded. And then, bigger, I guess, not big, but more pronounced rub over here. Just nasty. Stickers. <laughs> Saw that one a while back. <laughs> I think it looks like a freak. Did you see that yeah, I was waiting. What the shit? Oh my god, it's tater salad. That. Holy smackaroony. Cool. Alright, we better scour. Tater salad? Tater salad. Holy shit. Oh my freak. Nice. That's awesome. Oh, I can't wait to see him this year. And he's on us. Yeah, we need to scour for his right side. Holy macaroni. I saw it and I'm like, that thing's a freak, but I didn't think it was him. Look at the holes. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's cool. Where was he? Right here, right here. Just in the dirt. Well, he survived. Oh, look at how messed up that is, though. Well, he's already a freak. I think he'll probably get... causing it, huh? He's been dropped for a while. Looks pretty white. Where is he hiding out at? Look at He's clear down here. No kidding. We've no never seen put, him. No one, none of us put eyes on him. This side. Holy smokes. We better scour for this right side. It's got to be close. A buck... A deer of that size usually would shed it relatively. Look at him break off. that off. I know it's so cool those holes in there. That goes. It's like an antler almost. But I bet that's what's causing all of this. Well, maybe not. He's a freak on his right side too. Remember? Yeah, he is. This thing could be stupid. This year. We should at least get some pictures of it. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. Yeah, I know. We might leave, but it's pretty cool. <laughs> I saw the mass. I'm like, mine. is that even? Is that like a bone? And I pull up my body and I was like, I think that's, I think that's a shed, but I'm not gonna say anything because that thing's a monster. <laughs> oh yeah, how it veers look off. At, that's a bed look for at sure. The hooves have been clipping that log. That's 100% a bed. That's a big buck. That's a definite mature buck bed.
Nice find. I might just mark it so we can. I saw these two. What first. the heck? And then that one's darker, so it took me a second. Hold on. Three of them. Yeah. Match set. Little and one. then. Pretty cool one. That crab claw. That's that funny looking one. Wow. That's pretty I bet cool. This is a hot spot. <laughs> That's so weird. This is where the sheds come to die. What if they were like tickling there? Here's the other thing. That's funny. Look at that one. Well, he's cool. That's cool. That's thick. He was still holding when we pulled Whoa, cameras. Oh, it's red. Yeah. He was still holding a couple weeks ago. He may have just dropped like. Yeah. Good thing. Really funny looking deer. It's funny. This one's pretty white. I think that's this year, so yeah, there's no grass yeah. on it. Just this wet. Year. Pretty good. It's a nice little stunt there, Hunter. <laughs> it's that seven point. Yeah, it's that seven point or whatever. That just curves in. Right next to this log. No, he just was walking. I think we got ourselves an oldie. Oh God. It's like part of a beam or something. Part of a beam. 57 in the weekend. I say that's pretty good. <laughs> that's freaking ridiculous is what it is. Yeah. Oh, there's a couple of really nice ones though. Like yeah. this one, calling him, him Red Lobster. That one's called Tater Salad. Red this lobster. one should be called, I don't know, Barbecue Chicken. Big nine. 